It is Tuesday, the 23rd of May, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Grace and peace to you. Well, with the advent of the first plague, the instructions are now sent out to the Israelites on how they are to deal with this upcoming transition from being slaved to being the people of God, from being in slavery to being in freedom. They live at the cusp of a new way of living. And as much as they had desired this, they aren't ready for it. They aren't ready to become a new people. And so these instructions lay the groundwork for how they will go about having death pass over them to being a people who celebrate the mighty hand of God as they become the people of God in the wilderness. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall mark the beginning of months for you. It shall be the first month of the year for you. In other words, a whole new calendar, a way of measuring time is being established. It's not hooked to the seasons and the stars in the sky. It is hooked to the time when you were delivered from Egypt. The first day of the month will be the first day of your new life as the people of God free from Pharaoh and slavery. So then God says, tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, uh, a lamb for each household. If the household is too small, if there aren't enough people in it to eat a whole lamb, then join with your neighbors, another small family, and come together so that you can feast on this one lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, which is a custom that stands through time. What you offer to the Lord should be perfect. A year old male, you may take it from the sheep or from the goats, it matters not. Now keep it till the 14th day and then slaughter it at twilight. Then take some of the blood from it and with a hyssop paint it on the doorposts, the lintels of the dwelling that you are in. That will be the sign for death. Death will pass over your house. Now, you're all supposed to eat this in a particular way. You will eat it roasted over a fire. It's the quickest way to cook the meat. Roast it whole. Don't bother with butchering it too much. Don't boil it or use some of the longer cooking methods because you're in a hurry. When Pharaoh says go, you're going to go. Eat it with unleavened bread because leavened bread takes too long to rise. Eat it with bitter herbs because they will remind you that these last 430 years have been bitter for you. Eat it with your loins girded, which means ready to walk, ready to go. Put your sandals on your feet and your staff in your hand. You're supposed to eat standing up. This is maybe the first drive through meal, if you will. They're supposed to eat it hurriedly. Rush through dinner because you want to be finished with it when the hour comes that your captivity is over. This is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, human beings and animals, On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. The gods that they've been worshiping can't save them. The God who is the God of the dead can't come and save them. The God who is the God of the sun can't save them. The God who has promised them prosperity can't save them. And so here in this place, we will celebrate the Passover. When I see the blood that is on your door, I will pass over you. No plague will destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. And so, this is how the people are to celebrate. The rest of this chapter gives us an understanding of how this people becomes the people of God through their ritual and their remembrance. They are never to forget this night They are supposed to be vigilant in their faith. 
What's established this night is not just a one-off kind of thing. It is something they are supposed to remember for all of their lives. In verse 26 of chapter 12, it says, And when your children ask you, what do you mean by this observance? In other words, when you celebrate this very feast on subsequent years, you shall say it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord because he passed over our houses of the Israelites in Egypt and he struck down the Egyptians, but he spared our houses. And so they bow down and worship. This is something that will create a people from this day forward and forevermore. And you and I are still part of that story. As Christians, we look to Jesus as the final Passover lamb the one who gives us the victory over death so that now in the power of the resurrection, death will pass over us. God will deliver us from oppression and injustice and that God's way will be the final way. This is the creation story of the people of God. Genesis goes back and tells us the story that came before this. But this is when the people were born. The people of Israel were born to be a community dedicated to the worship of God, free from slavery, free from Pharaoh, free to serve God. Let us be vigilant in our faith and remember with them. Let us pray. Holy and mighty God, your people followed your instruction and death passed them over. Faithful people turned their hearts to you and you delivered them, while those who did not believe saw destruction. Keep us from destruction, keep us from death, and keep us ever mindful of the Passover lamb who we call Christ. In his name we pray, amen.